everybody, we're Chris and Jack. And it's official, we've invented a holiday that's sweeping the nation. Welcome to July 6th Park. On July 6th, you have an opportunity to do all of your favorite Jurassic Park themed activities. After releasing our announcement video, we've been overwhelmed by the response. It's literally been two months of non-stop glowing support for this idea. Yeah, and even though I personally had a few initial doubts. But what are we trying to do? I've been able to see how special of a night this can be thanks to your enthusiasm. And Chris's. And because Sam, Sam Neill tweeted, tweeted about it, it's because so that, that was also that the was big like, thing. oh, okay, <laughs> July 6th Park. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had two long months to plan an event worthy of the holiday. It's gonna be big, guys. It's gonna be really very big. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in Silmar, California, at Discovery Cube LA, where in five and a half hours we'll be hosting our massive midnight screening celebration for all of our friends. It's a party 65 million years in the making. Welcome, Welcome to, to July 6th Park. <laughs> Huh. Uh, Omid can't make it either. Really? Yeah. Uh. All right, I'm just gonna order more dino nuggets to be safe. Do we, okay, so we said doors open at what, 10? We said eight, I think. It's 9, right. 15 now, right. but 10's fine. If, if you were telling people 10, 10's cool. Yes, we still have time. right, there's like two hours, take photos with dinosaurs, yeah. like do your thing. Yeah. Yeah, plenty of time. Yeah. People are gonna come, right? Oh, hey, man, yes. What did Kevin Costner say in Field of Dreams? Kevin, I don't remember. If you build it, they will That's come. not Kevin Costner. Who's? That's oh, James Earl Jones. Kevin, James Earl Jones said, Jones. he it's said. It's Ray Liotta, I think? Or it's his dad. It's Shula Jones. Whoever says it, yeah. and we built this event, people are gonna, people are come. gonna come. Right. Yes. 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 <laughs> right. Totally. Right? Yeah. Great. Right? Yes. Yes. Right? Yeah. Come on. Hey guys, where's the bathroom again? Oh yeah, uh, sorry man, it's right by the uh, tornado. Okay, cool, thanks. If you could just, just hurry back, people should be getting here any minute, so just hustle. We just want you to get, get a big entrance, you know? I turned my fan off to conserve the, the air. That's smart. Yeah. Okay, what else would people be doing on July 6th? Work? Maybe it's a weekday, is that a thing? Yeah, but this is something you make time for, right? Like, yes. this is when you take a sick day knowing that it's gonna be a holiday inevitably in right. like a year or two. Is it possible like someone else we know would have thrown their own July 6th park party and everybody's at that? Oh, that's good, that could be it. That, that would be, be cool. cool. Yeah, I like that. Maybe, uh, okay, so who do we know who would invite all of our same friends and would not tell us? Okay, uh, okay. Um. Is it possible, and I don't think this is the case, but do you think people just like, weren't excited about July 6th Park? No, oh. I think people like it. I think everybody likes it. Sam Neill liked it. Right, right. But you were kind of down on the idea from the start. Like, do you think that the name doesn't sound as good as it obviously is, or? No, I think people like the name. I think people- Can't say it? Then they're like, no. I don't want no, to- No, it's easy to say, it. July 6th Park. July 6th Park, yes. Yeah. Be honest with me. Do yeah. you think that, do you think I've just like strained all my friendships by? pushing this so hard? Like, do you think like no. that it's just like they're no. pretending to be liking the idea and they don't like it? No, like, I, think, I think people really do like it and think you're on good terms with everybody. Hmm. Yeah. I don't, hmm. Do you think people were turned off by the cover charge? Cover charge? What are you talking about? I added a cover charge. Of? 110. 110 dollars? Yeah, what? I, yeah, I thought people would still want to come. What? What? Come. It costs like 15 bucks to get in here usually, $110. Well, yeah, but there isn't usually like a whole buffet of dino nuggets. You asked our friends to spend $110 to come here to just watch the movie with us? No, I well, uh, listen, I was just trying to like balance the budget a little. I thought like 130 bucks is not a lot to ask. 130? Yes. 130, you said what? 110 just a second ago. 130 no. now? Did I? No, I said yes. 130. You said 110. Yeah, no, sorry, it's, I'm sorry, it's 130. It's around, it's around, it's somewhere around. I don't believe this. You've been, you've been negative about this thing from the start. I should have seen it. I should have just paid attention. I, was, I should have just seen. I was negative right in front at the of me. start. I put the the no, 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 it wasn't just at the start. You were negative through the whole thing. And then the moment that you start seeing people actually getting excited about it, the moment that you start seeing people post, share, comment, like, subscribe, retweet, all that stuff, you start seeing dollar signs? That's not true. That's not what Dude, I... Dude, that's not what this day is about. You I know what this day is together. about. Oh, do you really? Yes. You just thought it was some dumb little tweet to throw around. You don't know what this day's about. I knew you were just har uh, harboring this underneath it all. No. Yes. Do you ruined it all, man. Look, 
Where is everybody? They're saving their money back home because you screwed it up for everybody, man. You know what you are? You're a saboteur. You're a naysayer. You're... You're Dennis Nedry. That's not true. That's not true. You don't know what you're saying when you say that to me. Dennis Nedry. Chris, don't say that. Dennis Nedry. That's not true. You don't get it at all. Jack. I threw up. It's okay. I'm not gonna tell anybody you threw up. Just, just give me your hand. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. What's going on, man? What's this all about? I, uh, I'm really sorry. I really, I really wanted to make tonight something special. I saw how excited you were about it, and I saw how many random strangers were getting excited about it. And I don't know if you even saw this, but Sam Neill tweeted about it. That was cool. That was really cool. I just, I saw how much it meant to you, and I saw how negative I was being about it. Like, no, come I on. was, dude. I was, like, the whole time. I was just crapping on it from the beginning, and, like, yeah. I don't, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be someone who stands in the way of my friend's dreams. Like, I wanted to say yes to all your big ideas, but sparing no expense gets expensive. I didn't realize, man. What, what was expensive? Getting snacks. Getting Barbasol cans. Renting an entire science center. Buying a Velociraptor suit. Hiring an actor for the Velociraptor suit. Flying an actor in, because he's based out of Quebec, because he does a lot of Cirque stuff. Renting the parking garage. Hiring security for the parking garage. Hiring a lawyer in case we had any copyright problems. Gas money for you. Gas money for the guy with the Velociraptor suit. It adds up, man. It's just all these little costs, you know, but they add up. I maxed out three credit cards. Honestly, this is on me just as much as it's on you. I was just so insecure about you thinking it was a dumb idea from the start that I kept suggesting bigger ideas to try and get you excited about it. I never thought it was dumb. I think it's a little dumb. Thanks, man. Maybe we were so preoccupied trying to figure out whether or not we could make July 6th Park a thing. We didn't stop to think of whether or not we should. I'm sorry, man. I really wanted tonight to be magical. Maybe it still could be. No, man. Chris, nobody's coming. I added a $185 cover charge, and I forgot to text basically all of our friends except only 185. 185. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Hey, man, listen. So then that just means it's you, me, a velociraptor, and an empty science center on July 6th, Park. No, those aren't fraudulent charges. Those, those were me too. This night turned out all right. Happy July 6th Park, buddy. You guys seem like really nice friends. Thanks, man. Hey, Brian, do me a favor and uh, don't cash your check for a couple months. <laughs>